Hello everyone. This video is brought to you by MasterCard, exclusively for members of Priceless Cities program. Because of the current travel restrictions, we would like to show you a new monument which has been built during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm honored to welcome you in the heart of Prague, the famous Old Town Square. I'm standing right under the historical Virgin Mary column. It's only a short time since the long-awaited re-erection in June 2020. It was built according to the original Baroque column ordered by Emperor Ferdinand III in 1650 in gratitude for the city's role in the battle against the Swedes during the Thirty Years' War. The column was torn down just a few days after the establishment of the state of Czechoslovakia in 1918 by a group of firefighters who had been tricked by the notorious troublemaker and anarchist Franz Sauer into believing that the Czechoslovak National Committee required the monument to be demolished. The official Czech press endorsed the demolition of the column for the act symbolized newly achieved independence from Habsburg monarchy and its firm connection with the Catholic Church. Most of the important political figures of the First Republic, even Tomas Garik Masaryk, the first Czechoslovak president, did not publicly support the destruction of the column, although their approval was often expressed in private. Soon after the Velvet Revolution, the Company for the Restoration of the Virgin Mary Column in Prague was founded. Petr Banya, the leading sculptor, spent the last 20 years putting his heart and soul into the project. The column is now standing in its original place. Its body is made of sandstone, just as its predecessor. In contrast to the original pillar, the statues of four angels on the pedestal are missing. However, the new column is a precise copy. In the middle of the pillar, there is a phrase in Latin that says, to the Immaculate Virgin Mary, for the defense and liberation of the city, the pious and righteous emperor erected this statue. The city used the shadow caused by the pillar that fell directly upon the so-called Prague Meridian. And this is how they determined the high noon. So here it stands, but the funny thing is that even now, after many years, the column, just as in history, still arouses controversy. Nonetheless, we hope that you will be able to come to Prague very soon and see this great monument for yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.